Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mercedes again, and I'm hitting you guys with this eyebrow tutorial. A lot, of, excuse my weird faces, but a lot of people have asked me how I do my eyebrows, so I decided to make this video for you guys. So as you can see, my eyebrows are really just fucked up. I need to fix them. So I'm using this little eyebrow razor to trim them right now. I'm not crazy, you guys. It's an eyebrow razor. You can look it up. If you want to buy one, just Google it. So I'm just trimming my eyebrows and I'm getting those little hairs that are out of place right now. But as you can see. You can see those little hairs out of place on the tail of my eyebrow and I want the tail of my eyebrow to be... A little skinny so that when I fill them in it's not the hairs are not out of place and showing so the reason that I do my eyebrows myself is that every time I go to get them threaded they do them too thin and I always tell them I'm growing out my eyebrows and they still do it really thin so I'm just gonna start doing it myself I usually use tweezers if I want to be really precise but I can't find my tweezers right now so this mini razor will have to do and I also get my unibrow, you see? And I just shape up the top of my eyebrow and I don't make it too skinny because again, I'm trying to grow them out. I also use this razor to get my lip hair. We all get it. I mean, if you don't get it, props to you, you're lucky. But I get it, so I shave it off with this mini razor. And I also do my face. It doesn't grow back darker or anything. Um, it does make my face kind of itch when the hair is growing back, but that's about it. I mean, you get that everywhere. You start to itch when your hair is growing back, so. So now I'm just using the end of my Anastasia dip brow, the comb part, to lay my hairs down. Because they was looking a little wild. And I'm talking because I thought I was going to film a talk through, but my mic wasn't on. So now here I am doing a vo voiceover for you guys so now I'm just gonna line the bottom of my brow with the Anastasia dip brow or no Anastasia brow wiz did I say dip brow earlier my bad but I'm just gonna line the bottom of my brow with the um, pencil part and I'm just gonna make little hair like strokes very light handed so you don't make it too dark especially towards the front you don't want the front of your brow to be dark as you can see, I'm doing really light strokes, making it look really natural, and I'm combing the hair upwards so that it looks more natural, like I said. And you're just gonna keep doing those light-handed strokes, hair-like strokes, to make it seem like your brows are really thick, and I'm just gonna do the same thing we just burped. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing the same thing for the other eyebrow. Just the light strokes. I'm underlining it first. And yeah. So now I'm going to take my dip brow. They're both in the shade dark brown. My brow was, was and the dip brow is. I'm taking this angled liner brush from Morphe and I'm just going to shade the dip brow pomade upward with really light strokes because I don't want my eyebrows to be too dark to where it looks like really, really heavy. I don't like that. And I'm going to finish underlining the brow with the dip brow since it is more, what's it called, efficient. So now I'm just going to take another angled liner brush. This one is from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to take some concealer. I believe this was LA Pro, LA Girl Pro concealer. And I'm just going to clean up the bottom of the brows. And you want to be very careful, very precise if you want it to look like, you know, that Instagram brow you see. And now I'm just going to clean up the top of my brow also. And I'm going to make the tail of my brow really clean, very light strokes, very slow strokes. Now 
I'm just gonna clean the concealer up or blend the concealer out with this Morphe brush. I think it's a, like an eyeshadow brush. I don't know, I'm using it as a concealer brush because, you know, do what you want, girl. So I'm finishing blending that out, making sure my eyebrow, around my eyebrow doesn't look all white. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just blending it out with my finger now. Finishing the finishing, <laughs> finishing the touches. So now I'm just taking that mini brow razor again and I'm cleaning up the hairs that are sticking out from the brow I just drew on. You wanna be careful you don't take off too much hair because then you're gonna be looking crazy. You guys, you don't wanna look crazy, so be careful. So now I'm just taking this tinted brow gel from ABH. This part is optional, I just do this to lay the eyebrow down. So now I'm just taking my spoolie and I'm combing the hair upwards and I'm shading my brow, making sure the front of my brow is not too dark. And this is the finishing step, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you got some out of it. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.